Welcome back. You're still watching Wake Up Nigeria. Now, as a parent myself, yes, we're all looking forward to when the midterm break was going to wrap up. Because <laughs> if for some reason it's just so long now, it's a whole week. Goodness me, what's going on? But we get it. The children need rest. They need a break from that school. But how big of a break do they actually need? Do they need to break away completely from that school? Mm, that's the conversation today. We have Jane A, a career mom, convener of Fab Mom NG, a motherhood, parenting, and lifestyle resource site for millennial moms like me. Hey, you should make me your... You know. Yes, I should. <laughs> <laughs> we have been having her on the show for the past month, and it's been amazing so far. Today's topic is when to change your child's school, knowing when. Yeah. Welcome back, Jane A. Thank you, Titi. Mm. Good morning. Mm. How do we know when it's time to change our child's school? That is a very important it question. Is. It is. Um, I'll say the number one thing. Most times your guts, okay. your instincts just tells you something is wrong. Let's say in the morning your child, you're preparing your child for school and your child repeatedly um, says he or she does not want to go to school or is sad or is happier a day before. Mm -hmm. And on school morning, the child just is sad consistently and maybe you've gone to school, you've talked, you've, you've ruled out cases of bullying your child just does just, just not want to go to school. Okay. Maybe you've had conversations with the teachers and you just realize that something is off, About you know. The school. And then you just know it's time to pull your child out of the school. Then sometimes if you realize that your child's grades are just uh, regressing despite efforts like maybe having an additional um, tutor or, you know, conversing with the teacher or just going through their curriculum, your child isn't just, you know, improving then something is wrong. Hmm. And again, one thing we also um, tend to overlook is when you go to the school, have conversations with the school owner or the hmm. teacher, you just realize that there's a disconnect. Some schools are not open to parental feedback. True. Some schools don't even allow parents, um, some parents come into school. Um, in, I mean, just come in at any time. Yeah. I know you, you're not supposed to go into your child's school, yeah. but there should be that open door policy. At least the parents should be able to at least get into the front desk mm -hmm. and have conversations because sometimes you just want to speak with someone. So if yeah. there's that breakdown or that division or that wall, then you know something is wrong. Mm. So <clears throat> different schools have different styles and yeah. different uh, methods of teaching. Yeah. Uh, and education is not just about being in the classroom. Yeah. Uh, it's about the surroundings. Everything. Uh, you know, the, the teachers as well. Yeah. And, and I, have, I actually have a personal story. Okay. Um, because there was a particular one of uh, the twins that was a little more enthusiastic about going to school than the other. Mm -hmm. So I knew that it wasn't exactly the school as such mm -hmm. as at that time yeah. it was more of the teacher. teacher. Uh, and we were able to address that. But then somewhere down the line, that teacher started teaching the other child, that's my other oh. twin, and then the, a similar reaction happened. Were they in different classes? They were in different, yes. Oh, okay. they, uh, they often split twins yeah. uh, because of, uh, you know, the, the, the effect that they, the destruction that they can yeah. have on each other. So at that point, we were just assuming that maybe it was just the child being lazy yeah. or maybe just not being, you know, interested in the class. Yeah. And stuff like that. And I feel like a lot of parents often blame their kids yes. for their um, for their behavior. Uh, yes, for their behavior and, and how they're doing in their grades. I totally agree with you. And I like the, the fact that you were really hands-on because if you weren't or if you aren't, you wouldn't have noticed yeah. the change when the other child had to be, had, when the teacher had to take the other child. Yeah. So again, it still boils down to God's instincts and just being present. Then another reason why, yeah. another time when you know it's time to change your child's school, maybe you have to move. Yeah. You know, and or I always move in house. moving okay. homes, you know, I always advocate for at least the school should be close to home. I, I don't want to knock parents, mm. but sometimes when I'm on third mainland and I see school buses and mm. then on the school bus, you see that the school is maybe somewhere in Moway uh -huh. and you're seeing the school bus on third mainland and it's a primary school and you're yeah. seeing little children sleeping in the bus. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Mm. You know, sometimes yeah. you say, don't go there because it mm. might be insensitive. People's realities yeah. are different. But sure. I mean, ideally, if we can, mm. let's enroll our kids in schools that are closer home mm. or closer to the location of the person who will do the pick up or mm. the drop off. Then, of course, sometimes mm. you know it's time to change the child's school if your fortunes change. Mm. 
mm. for the better or for the worse. Mm. Of course, if your fortunes change, we all want something better, a yeah. higher standard, so you know it's time to move. Or if your fortunes deep, you know you can't conveniently pay the school fees, mm. then you know it's time to move yeah. that child. I, I want to backtrack to mm. this distance from home thing. Yes. I think it's so important. Very because, important. Especially the early morning pickup for the school oh, yes. bus, for instance. Um, you know, there was a time that uh, a school bus, this was, this was years ago, so yeah. I don't do school bus anymore, but they were saying they wanted to pick up the children at 6 a.m. Yeah. And class starts at 8 a.m. So that for two hours, either for a whole hour, they're on the road doing pickups, mm -hmm. um, and then for another hour, they're in class, you know, or just, you know, loafing around in school before school starts. I didn't understand that. Um, that concept. Yes. And I was just thinking, you know, yes, as you said, we have to be sensitive to people's realities, situations, yeah. their realities. But at the same time, we should also pay attention to the child's health. Yeah. And also the school driver, school bus driver. Sure. If a school bus driver comes to your home at 6 a.m. to pick your child, it means that, give or take, he should have woken up at 4 or yeah. 5. Yeah. And you know, those people, he may live very far away, mm. so it means he hasn't even slept. So it's even a danger entrusting your child or your kids in the hands of a driver who is overworked, mm. sleep deprived. Mm. And then your child is sleeping all the way from um, 6 a.m. To... Because if your child, if school bus has to come at 6 a.m., it means your child should wake up at least 5 a.m. or 5.30. What time does that child sleep? Has the child even had breakfast at Has the child point? had breakfast at, at that, that time? time? Wow. It's just a lot. I it's know lot. these days uh, mothers and fathers have to work extra hard to put sure. food on the table. Sure. But at the same time, let's also make little sacrifices for the kids. Yeah. You know? I, I wanted to ask, is bullying really uh, a reason to oh, change yes. a child's oh, yes. school? Okay. Oh, yes. So bullying, it could be bullying from peers. And you know, it could also be bullying from teachers. It's very underrated. Sure. Some teachers bully kids, especially kids who don't really know how to express themselves sure. or kids who are very assertive. Mm -hmm. And then imagine a child who is very young, cannot really speak very well, and then you, the mother, is saying that, and the teacher is saying, your child is lying. No. Wow. Look at all that children. Are they not smiling? Do I look wicked? And then you'll be confused. Okay. And then for a child who is older and very assertive, you know, such kids yeah. will have um, some power some yeah. tussle clashes yeah. with the teachers because they are assertive. They are not rude. Yeah. They are just bold and assertive. And, and confident. Enough. And confident. Yeah. So uh, having a confident child who's willing to speak up mm -hmm. might be a problem. The key. It might be also be the key yeah. to, to figuring out, you know, um, if the school is the right place oh, for yes. the child. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. yes. But Jane A, it's always a pleasure having you in the building. Yeah, Beta. <laughs> she has three kids. She looks good. Uh, but it's, it's always uh, great to hear your opinions as well on this topic. Do you understand the reasons why it's best to change your child's school? You should tell us. Use the hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC.